whenever you're removing something, okay, you always have to fill it with something. That's why. Okay? So, let's take a look. Um, so I hope that you watch the tutorial. If not, please do that. But you must master the use of uh, layers. You must master the use of um, layer mask. Very, very important. Okay? And they're not difficult. So let's take a look at the pictures. So you need to use the pictures that I provided you. Okay? So for now, just keep it simple. Use my pictures. It should be good. Alright? So let's take a look at the pictures. Um, I like this picture, actually. Let me just... Oh, Aquaman. <laughs> I call him Aquaman. But the resolution is not the greatest. So let me see. Um, I've removed the cow before. I'll show you the cow again. Um, let's do the uh, this one, okay? Remove this pretty guy, okay? So, uh, how do we do that? So, let me just download. Download and save it in my downloads, okay? So, I can just drag it into, into GIMP, perfect. Like so, open, okay? So, um, let's change my brush head because that's way too big for the pixels in this picture that I need to do anything small. Okay? So, okay, about 40. Okay. So, next step is I want to remove this guy. Now, uh, there are a few ways for us to remove things. So, right, number one, we can use the clone tool. Okay, or healing tool, a clone, clone tool. And then what you do is on, on, app, uh, on Apple computers, you would need to use command or on uh, Windows, you need to actually use control, okay, on your top, no, on the bottom left corner uh, of your keyboard and then click and then you can let go. Now, whenever you, you, you choose something, you're actually copying from there. But as you see, this is actually not good. So let me just go back. So what I want to do is, well, actually, I forgot to do something. Number one, save the original in the background, okay? So, um, so what I want to do is, I want to actually copy this patch of sky and patch it here, or I can actually do this. I can actually patch, uh, copy this patch of the sky, okay? Oh yeah, I chose a different mode before. Uh, so let me just do that. Um, I want to use this patch of, of the sky, okay? To remove them. Uh, maybe it's enough. Let me just choose a little bit more. I can delete it if I don't need it. Copy, paste, like that, okay? And then let me move it to this side. Lock it. Uh, not as simple as you think because then. Uh, the line, the sea level doesn't actually line up. So we need to do something, right? And also the sky doesn't line up. So if you want to see whether or not you, it matches it, the yellow line doesn't really help. That's a layer boundary. So you will go to view and cancel show layer boundary. So let's just do as much as we can right now, okay? So number one, uh, remember, oh, I keep saying number one, it's not number one, I just like saying it, all right? Uh, go to, uh, tools, transform tools, you see a perspective, right? Um, now we can actually slightly warp it so that it act, the line actually matches, right? So so you can you can actually change the shape of the pop. Okay? So I'm just gonna drag this line slightly up. Not too drastic. Slightly up. Oh, okay. Okay, enter. Right. Number two, I like this patch, but I don't like everything about this patch. So what I'm gonna do is add a layer mask. So I wanna hide certain parts of the picture. And as you remember, if you wanna hide certain parts of the picture, you use uh, black and put it in the layer mask, right? And like so, okay. But I actually like airbrush a little bit more. It looks a little bit more natural. It blends in a little bit more natural, right? Okay, now, um, let's see here. So as you see, 
I actually erase this girl's arm too much. Now the guy is showing me. So what I want to do is to use the white to actually go back to what I what I what the mistake was. Okay, maybe I need a smaller brush. Smaller brush. Yeah. Maybe like a tag actually. Oh boy. Yeah, okay, well, it's still too much. Okay. Sometimes it takes a multiple tries to get it just right. Okay? But that's okay. I don't want that kind of show there, so let me just put some white in there. Okay, cool. So, go back to here. We'll go back to black. Uh, make the brush a little bit bigger. Okay, I want to blend this guy. Oh, ah, that's a little bit too much. So, the guy's showing that. Okay, so we can go back and fix it. C is kind of showing. Okay, so. Now, now where white comes in is really when you want to hide things in it, right? Okay. Okay. Try to pay attention, Harrison, when I'm talking. Don't do anything else yet. Okay, so that's okay. Now, so what I want to do is now you have this layer here, okay? Patch is not perfect. Okay, patch is not perfect, but uh, that's the job. But this is still obvious, there's a line here. So this is more like a level 2.53, not really level 4 yet. It's, it's really obvious, right? So what I want to do is um, to merge it down, okay? But when you merge it down, you lose the layer. You can't go back anymore. So what I like to do other than merging down is I actually like doing new from visible. So new from visible is basically to merge all the layers into one layer from what you can see, but without losing uh, the layers from before. So you can always go back, okay? So let me show you this. Okay. Um, I want to use the blur tool. And so you can see how the C goes from left to right, like that, right? There's a pattern, right? There's a texture. So I want to drag left to right, like so. See? The line kind of blurs, right? That's what I want to do. Two, there is a little bit. Okay, cool. And number two, I can use the heal tool. Well, uh, not the heal tool, the clone tool first. And then I want to clone some of the C texture and paste it here. So it doesn't look blurry because when you use the blur tool, it blurs, right? So, um, Go and then use a blur tool or the touch up tool. I can actually remember from left to right. Okay. Now, whoops. Um, this kind of the C level is kind of blurred. I mean, I can go back to fix it, but what I can do is once again copy some uh, some of the horizon from here. I don't need too much, just a little. Okay. New new layer. Um, I don't need everything, so I can. Create a new layer, a new layer mask. Okay, make sure I choose a layer mask, and I want to just hide some things, right? This is not doing as of a job in that, so I'm just gonna use pencil and use the brush, the brush. So now, yeah, it's a little bit better. Okay, so this is the before. Alright, so let me show you one more, one more, okay? And then I'm gonna let you do your work. Um, let's do the cow. A lot of people think that the cow is really difficult, but actually a lot of my uh, students actually have done the cow before. Well, it blocks half of the mountain, yes, but that's actually what makes it fun and interesting, okay? So, save it. Okay, cool. So 
so uh, image and take him as the latest. Okay, so this picture is actually a lot finer than the last picture, right? So as you see that the brush is a lot smaller at 34 than just now, right? So, but that's okay. So, um, once again, we have to do multiple, multiple patches, okay? And you need to line this mountain up. So, let me just try to be ambitious and try to copy this mountain. Okay, create a new layer, move it over, get it? Move it. Okay, ooh, I like how it looks already. Okay, all right, um, so at layer mask, immediately I want it to blend in, and I don't want to see the layer boundary really, okay? So I want to see exactly how it transitions, okay? I want to connect this this part of the of the mountain here, okay? Which is perfect. I like this, okay? Which we can fix. All right. Uh, let's do some black. Let's do some pencil black uh, in the layer mask. Do some big area kind of you know cover cover. Okay. Cool. Uh, you know what? I changed my mind. Maybe uh, airbrush. This I don't need because I'm just, I just don't need to cover that. Okay, cool. And then, guess what? I am going to use another patch uh, to cover the back of the, of the cap. Um, maybe, maybe this part right here. Copy paste. Oh, nope. Wrong layer that I copied from. Copy paste again for the background. Here. Um, it's a little bit too bright, uh, too dark. I can actually change the color of this to make it less bright. Go to hue saturation on the color, and then I can actually go to lightness to actually make it lighter. Okay. Of course, it's not always a bad best idea, but uh, you know, there are more than one way of doing things. I do actually change this uh, color, okay? But there are some black dots in here that I don't really like, so uh, maybe this is not the best, best patch. Okay, my mouse is getting drunk. running multiple programs at the same time, okay? So that's the idea. And uh, for the grass here, ooh, for the grass here, same thing. Um, okay. Okay. For the grass, same thing. I just copy some materials and then paste it over here and use layer mask to blend it in. Or you can actually use the Chrome tool, Heal tool, Blur tool, or the Touch Up tool, Smudge tool, to uh, to blend them together. That's the idea. And you know what? It's really doable because the texture is very, very similar here. Okay. So uh, let me know if you have any questions and uh, connect with me on Zoom if uh, you need some one-on-one -on -one help. Okay. And that'll be all.